Welcome back everyone, we've got some material that we need to review now so make sure you're all set up, guitar's in tune you've got your posture the way it's meant to be before starting to play and once you've done that make sure you've got your A chord uh, and your, all the things that I told you about keeping the thumb behind the neck and your fingers using your fingertips and close to the fretboard get your chord sounding best that you possibly can, make sure you're happy with it. And now let's practice some basic down strumming. So one, two, three, four. So on the count of four. So one, two, three, four. Go ahead and loop that, practice that a couple of times, and then let's do the same thing again, but this time we're going to add up strokes. So we're down, up, down, up, or one and two and three and. Okay, so we're going to do it at the same speed with the A chord, so on the count of four one and two and three and four. And So look that again, and remember that in the right hand it's all in the wrist. You don't want no elbow action. It's a nice, light and loose wrist. Do all up and down strokes. Make sure it's nice and relaxed and no tension is in the arm when you do these exercises. So one more time, let's do the up down strumming with the A chord one last time. Then we're going to move on to something new today. So one and two and three and four and <laughs> So now we're going to learn the E major chord, or as it's most commonly known as just the E chord. And this is how you play it. So here's how you play E major. Uh, first start off with your first finger. This is going to go on the first fret of the G string. So that's one, two, three, right here. And make sure that the finger is right next to the fret as possible. And that's the note that you want. Next, we want our we want our third finger to go on the second fret of the D string. That's your note for that string. And then your second finger is going to go right on top of that on the second fret of A string. That's what your note should sound like. So again. First on the f G string on the first fret, third finger on the second fret of D, second on the second fret of A. So once you're happy with that and you've got all three fingers where they on the correct positions, then strum all six strings and see how it sounds. That's your E major chord. Hopefully you've got a nice clean sound from your chord there. All six strings sounded perfectly clean. That 
means you've got this chord sounding perfectly fine and your hand position is perfect. If any of the notes don't sound right, whether it's muted or clunky, then just have to adjust your fingers slightly accordingly. Uh, everyone's different, uh, so the problems uh, vary from person to person because we all have, some of us have large hands, some of us have small hands, and and some of us have more difficulty with some problems than others. But whatever the problem is, uh, just, just just accordingly and you know, take your hand off, do the make the finger and put the fingers in the right position again and try it again until you get the chord. And remember to pick each note individually as well as strumming the chord to make sure that every string sounds good and is sounding out cleanly. Now when you're changing between A and E, you're going to want to be very conscious of where your fingers are moving to and from because all three fingers are going to have to move for this chord change. So let's start with the A major chord. Now to change to E, the movement is going to be like this. Then back to A. Again. Your first finger, which is on for your A chord, is currently on the second fret of the the, uh, the D string. That's going to have to move over here to the first fret of the G string. So from here to here. Then your second finger, so on the second fret of G, you're going to move that uh, up here to the second fret of your A string. So it's on the same fret, but it's skipping over the D string to go on to the second fret of A. And for your third finger, for your A, that's on the second fret of B. You're going to want to move that and skip a string over the G and put that on the second fret of your D string. And then it's the exact same thing the other way around. First finger goes back to second fret of D, uh, and then these two are going to go just keep the same position, keep the same shape, if you will, just skip over a set of strings to be instead of being on A and D, they're going to be on G and B. And that's your change. So now you've got the E chord down and I've now shown you how to change from A major to E major in the left hand. Now I'm using an acoustic for this next example that I'm going to do for you. Uh, just for a sense of variety because I know some of you watching will be playing a, an acoustic instead of an electric so I thought I would just change it up and show you this next example on acoustic for you people on the acoustic guitar. Uh, and as you can tell, uh, my right hand is more up here rather than when I was playing the electric, it was down here. With the acoustic, because of the, it's wider up here, my arm is now at more of a higher angle. So the strumming technique will be slightly different. But that still isn't going to change the way that we're going to be strumming in the right hand. It's still going to be in the wrist and not the elbow. So let's now combine a major and E major uh, with a strumming exercise. So we're just going to do all down strokes again in the right hand and we're going to change from A major to E major. Now this might be hard at first but keep practicing it over and over again and you'll get it before you know it. So what we're going to do, we're going to do eight strums per chord and then after the eighth strum you then change to the next chord do eight strums again for that chord then change back to the first chord and we'll do that a couple of times this will give you plenty of time to think about 
uh, each ch code change before it comes. That, and by having more time, you'll be able to think about it, and it won't seem like it's happening too quickly for you. I want to go nice and slow when we're practicing these things for the first time. So, on the count of four, make sure you're starting off with A. We're going to start on the count of four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So practice that a couple of times, pause the video, practice that a couple of times uh, until you really get the hang of that exercise. If you weren't able to keep up with me when I was playing there, don't worry about it. It will take time for some people. Just keep practicing it and the more you practice, the better you'll get and the quicker you'll be able to play it up to speed there with me in the video. So don't worry about it if you're lagging behind, just keep practicing this thing over and over and again until you get it. And before you know it, you'll be having fun playing those chords and you'll find that they sound great working together, going back and forth, and they, and they work so well together. So now we're going to do the same again, but this time we're going to do down, up strokes. So remember, it's down, up, down, up, all in the wrist. And the count will be one, and two, and three, and four, and. So you get the idea. So one and two and three and four and change stuff. So now you've got the A chord and the E chord, two different chords that you can now play going between one and the other and you can apply simple down and down up strumming in the right hand along with these chords. Now there's plenty of songs out there that you can now play using the, just these two chords. Uh, take a look in the description below where you'll find a list that I've compiled of top two chord songs and I think you might be surprised at what you might find. I'm sure there'll be a couple in there at least that you'll recognise. For example, uh, a song that's quite often referenced as a two chord song that everyone should uh, practice is a song called For What It's Worth by Buffalo Springs, which was Neil Young's uh, old, and well, first band, I should say. It was his very first band when he was uh, a young man. And it's one of his first songs that he wrote for that band. And as I say, it's a great two chord song. It goes like this. It's one bar of E, one bar of A. And you just repeat that over and over again. It's a full song. Thank you. 
just for example purposes I'm going to play that same song again but this time I'm going to use a more interesting strum pattern than just down or down and up strokes uh, which we're going to cover in the next lesson of this series more, so more basic but interesting strum patterns uh, and this really brings a song to life just adding those few extra strums so let me give you an example so idea. Um, another example of a song you can do, you can do a more traditional song instead of doing a more pop song. You can say, for instance, you could do London Bridge Has Fallen Down. It's only A and E. So it's like... London Bridge Has Fallen Down, Fallen Down, Fallen Down. London Bridge Has Fallen Down, My Lady. So there you have it. You can now play two different chords on the guitar, you can do some basic up and down strumming, you can got some exercises that can help you with that and changing between the two chords and you've got a whole bunch of new songs that you could explore and begin to learn and add to your arsenal of songs. So take a look at that list, pick a couple that you like, practice them and have fun with it and I'll see you in the next lesson.